I'm Roger Wagner, Superintendent President of Victor Valley College. Welcome to our March Campus Update. For many of our faculty and students, it's welcome back from winter break. For those who taught or took classes during the winter intercession, I know your break was barely noticeable. In any case, it's my hope that the winter intercession will become part of our total enrollment management strategy designed to benefit both students and the college being offered on a more consistent basis. Most of you probably already know that our Vice President of Administrative Services, G.H. Javahariapur, was selected for the presidency at Yuba College in Marysville, California. I personally want to thank G.H. for his work at Victor Valley College and wish him the very best on his new adventure. With G.H.'s position being vacant, I have made some shifts in responsibilities and reporting structures. I have appointed Karen Hardy in physical services as the chief business officer and Steve Garcia, our facilities director, as chief of campus facilities and operations. I will be maintaining office hours in the administrative services office twice a week, Tuesday mornings and Thursday afternoons. We're only two weeks away from our accreditation follow-up report, which is due to the accreditation commission. The visiting team is scheduled to be on campus March 25th for their on-site visit. We will have to wait for the outcome for their visit until sometime in early July. We'll be working on our report right up to the day when we present it to the Board of Trustees for their approval at the Barge Board meeting. It is no secret that one of our last remaining hurdles is demonstrating to the Commission that we have a defined plan to overcome our deficit budget. I've over the past two months conducted seven forums where I outlined our plan to produce a balanced budget. Budget issues are never easy, especially when we are looking at making cuts. One very important thing that I want to share is how impressed I have been with the quality of questions that have been asked at the forums from our staff. And probably more important is just how well the plan has been received by all and our employee groups in general. I'm confident that we are going to recover from this budget issue with a long-term solution that in the end will benefit all of us. Over the past few months, there has been increased talk and concern about campus safety and security. I want you to know that our police department is working very hard to make sure that we are all safe on our campus. They have been and continue to work with law enforcement agencies in our area to strengthen our security options. The Board of Trustees will soon be given a campus security briefing along with recommendations on some physical and operational initiatives to improve campus security. I do have some very exciting news to share. We have added three new counselors to our staff since the end of the fall semester. We hope that these new additions will help relieve some of the wait time students have in getting appointments to see a counselor. Last month I had the pleasure to meet with Dr. Thomas Morales, president of CSU San Bernardino on his campus in San Bernardino. We discussed current and future opportunities to work together for the benefit of all of our students. We both agreed that one of the greatest accomplishments in recent years is the adoption of the transfer model curriculum degrees. When students enroll in these defined curriculum degree programs, they are assured to receive full transfer and articulation of all of their courses. The end result will be an easier and cheaper transfer option. I made a similar visit to Barstow College and their president, Dr. Deborah DeThomas. Again, we talked about current partnerships and the opportunity for new partnerships designed to expand opportunities for students at both colleges. As winter comes to a close and spring approaches, I want to remind everyone that this is a great time of year to engage yourself with one of the many student activities that we have underway. The theater program is ready to open the season with Rogers and Hammerstein's South Pacific. A, few, a free music recital is scheduled for late March. Basketball postseason play is underway and baseball season is in full swing. And that's just a snapshot of a whole host of activities that are available to you on campus. I was honored to be able to speak to the aviation program's graduation held in the Performing Arts Center this past weekend. 16 students graduated from this very successful program and many of them already have secured jobs in their field. News from Sacramento tells us that the state legislature has directed the state chancellor's office to convene a group of experts in career and technical education, business and industry. 
Their charge will be to research and recommend ways to address the technical, policy, and physical issues related to implementing differential funding for high cost, high demand courses and programs in career and vocational fields. The intent of the study is to see if community colleges can receive increased state apportionment for those programs since they typically cost much more to maintain and operate than the more traditional arts and sciences courses. I will be recommending to our Board of Trustees that we extend our support for this initiative by adopting a board resolution that supports the efforts of that group. Well that about wraps it up for now. I wish each of you a rewarding and successful semester. Thank you.